Ascot, Her Majesty and the Queen Mother pause for a word with Sir Winston Churchill on their way to see the race for the richest prize of the British turf. King George VI and Elizabeth Stakes is run over one and a half miles and is worth nearly £24,000 to the winner. Once again, there's an international field with the Queen's Colt High Velt facing competition from France, Belgium, Ireland and, of course, the great Italian champion Rebo, number five, who's just won three outstanding victories in a month at Milan. WH Carr rides the Queen's entry High Velt, number six. Before the start, there's a spot of trouble when the Belgian horse Todre decides he'd do better to win the race without his jockey. Todre turns back towards the start after running a mile or more from the tapes. This delays the race for quite a few minutes, for his jockey can't stop him, and he heads for the paddock where he's finally recaptured. They're off at last, and in spite of having used up so much energy beforehand, Todre is still able to take the lead. Chantelsey and Rebo are behind him, with High Velt lying fourth. All the way to the final turn, it's still Todre leading. What a horse! But in the straight, even Todre can't keep it up forever. He's dropping back and High Velt's coming through on the rails. And now Rebo starts to take up the running. With every yard, Rebo increases his lead, with High Velt and Todre battling it out for second place. Rebo has five lengths in hand as he passes the post, and High Velt is next. A brilliant victory for the Italian champion, unbeaten in 14 races.